Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's Brian with DD214 Transport. I uh, wanted to touch base this morning. I'm waiting on a load. I got here at 8. It's not going to be ready till about 10. So I uh, thought I'd do a quick video. I've had several people ask about uh, the truck and trailer setup that I purchased and why I purchased it. First, let's talk about the truck. The truck is a, a 2020 Dodge Ram. I bought it with 12 miles on it. Uh, I did my research the I'm not first of all let me just say I'm not a Dodge guy I'm not a Ford guy I'm not a, a GM or Chevy uh, if the truth be known I'm a Freightliner guy so if Freightliner made a pickup to do uh, non CDL hotshot I'd be buying a Freightliner but uh, anyway so I did my research on uh, the vehicles and I picked out a 2020 uh, 3500 Dodge Ram uh, dually and uh, I'll tell you from the get-go the first uh, reason I picked it was the 6.7 liter turbocharged coming diesel uh, it's a tried and true motor you can't beat it uh, early on Dodge had a little bit of problem with the transmission they've since upgraded that to an Anson uh, six-speed transmission which is awesome um, so that's why i picked it now i went to the dodge site and um i built the truck like i wanted it uh, being having driven over the road i i knew what i wanted knew what i liked um and dodge had those or ram whichever you want to call it ram had those uh had those options for me uh, some of the options that I chose um, were was the dually package. Of course, uh, I wanted the dual wheels. As I as I built the truck around the 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 engine and transmission, um, again I went with the dually. Uh, I went ahead and had the uh, gooseneck hitch, fifth wheel hitch, all that built into it with the electrical. I did a 50 gallon fuel tank. Um, I had the uh, the Jake brake installed or the engine brake installed, the tow package installed. Um, I had a gear limiter installed here on the on the steering wheel. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but anyway, I built it like I wanted it. Um, small things that mean a lot. It may not seem to mean a lot, but it, it means a lot when you're out on the road. Is is like your USB charging ports. I've got a built-in uh, 120 volt uh, adapter. So those things those things mean a lot when you're out on the road. So all the other little stuff is is you know ancillary. Um, so far, it's been really good pick. I haven't had any uh, any big complaints about it. I made the first payment on it the other day, and I've already got 11,000 miles on it. So, you know, it's running pretty good. Uh, I guess the only complaint, and it's not really a complaint, it's just I think they should have rethought this a little bit, was the the buttons on the steering wheel. Uh, should have been the radio for the radio buttons. Instead, they're to control the computer on the dash, which you really can't use in motion, so I don't understand why why that's there like it is but other than that uh the 2020 3500 ram is has been or is so far a pretty good choice the trailer i picked out is a 2021 pj 32 foot gooseneck trailer um it uh it's it's a good little trailer Man, it's it could have been 40 feet, but you know due to the COVID situation. I could only get what I could get so uh, I actually went to Texas and bought it um, so uh, the uh, The 32 foot gooseneck uh, it, It's doing me really well, so you know, I don't have a complaint with it uh, I have a 40 foot ordered um so I'll go up 40 feet, but I'm going to lose the weight. 
So, you know, again, it, it falls into that juggling act. Okay, to kind of shoot you around the inside of the cab, you have to excuse the mess. Of course, I've been on the road for a week and about 10 days. So, you know, it's it's pretty much your standard, standard truck. Um, I didn't buy anything special. This is the tradesman's class. Um, like I said, it's a 2020 Dodge Ram 3500 heavy duty with uh, four wheel drive uh, with the 6.7 liter Cummings turbo diesel. Uh, so we go around the cab, you know, you got your standard instrument gauges. Um, let's see. You fire it up. Uh, as you can see, I got 11,551 miles on that crazy thing. But uh, over here's your diff tank. Right here's your diff and your RPMs and your, your temperature gauge. As well as your fuel pressure gauge, your speed gauge, and your, your fuel tank. Uh, your start buttons there uh, on the steering wheel this is sort of what I was talking about if I can figure out how to work this camera so on the steering wheel on this side is your speed control your cruise which is fine it's good this is my gear limiter which really comes hand in handy in the mountains it keeps you from shifting up and down it's really nice um, this is to control the phone, but these buttons here control the computer on the dash, okay? So, uh, you know, the, to be honest with you, it would have been better served to have the radio controls there and put that over somewhere else. Um, you got your light switches, your windows, and all that, and then you come over to this side, and you have your four-wheel drive uh, here's your engine control love it gotta have it this is your engine brake okay your jake brake this is your tow control here this is your jake brake when you put on weight you gotta have a jake you just gotta do it so you come up you got your radio very basic uh very basic package i didn't put anything on this truck that i didn't need and uh you know, when you turn around, I'm not going to turn around because it's got all my clothes and stuff back there. But when you turn around, you know, you got a regular two, three seat uh, bench seat in the back. Um, but like I said, there's no there's no frills. I didn't uh, I didn't put in a lot of extra things because you don't need them uh, and you're going to pay for them and it's going to add weight. So I put in, on this truck, I added exactly what I needed, and that was it. So, all right, so that's the inside of the truck. All right, guys, so this is the outside of the truck. Um, you guys have seen standard pictures. The only thing I've added to this truck is the, um, the bug flare here and the window, uh, the window guards there, and this toolbox, which I find extremely helpful. Other than that, um, DOT requires uh, mud flaps. So I got my mud flaps on. As far as the trailer goes, the trailer, like I said, is a PJ 32 foot gooseneck. It's got the bulldog hitch on it. It has uh, double speed Pro Series 12,000 pound jacks. It's got the toolbox building in front, which is handy dandy. Uh, it's got a step. I think PJ should put this step back there as too. There should be another one, I think. Uh, of course, there's a little tarp strapped down. Now, let me tell you guys something right here. These these are D-rings. They are a lifesaver, man. You can unhook them, move them wherever you want them, and you're not uh, you're not wrapping around the rub rail. You don't want to wrap your stuff around this rail because if you do, DOT can pull you over for that. Plus, if you rub up against something, you're going to lose your load. The uh, axles are two 7,000-pound Drexel axles. Um, other than that, I mean, uh, I've got the flat, 
uh, here back here is my ramps I can pull those out and I'll be using them later today to load a car um, the uh, the big thing on this deal is highly recommended picking up the the stake pocket D-rings because they are a godsend. When you need them, they're there. And as you can see right here, if, look at this, all you gotta do is hook to them. You're not having to wrap around this rub rail and mess them with that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, things that are important on this truck safety wise is you have a blind spot detection here on the here on the mirror so if something's within your blind spot it'll light up um, it does have a backup camera for what I don't know because I've always got a trailer on it and it doesn't really seem to do a whole lot uh, I guess it's good for when you don't have a trailer on it, but there's the backup camera right there. And I'm sorry my truck's so dirty, but like I said, I've been on the road and hadn't had a chance to run it through anything. But you got your blind spot mirrors, you got your backup camera. And, uh, you know, other than that, it's it's pretty much a basic trademan's truck. I, like I said, I put on it what I thought I, I needed on it, and, and that was about it. Well, guys, I hope you... Uh, Hope this answers some of your questions. Uh, if not, again, go to the website or go to the Facebook page and ask them. Uh, let's let's get that thing fired up and we can ask the questions and figure it all out. And uh, we'll go from there with it. But uh, if you guys need anything, yell at me. I'm around. Like and subscribe. Pass it on to your friends. Talk to you soon.